Pakistan's legitimate prime minister and the leader of the country's largest and most popular political party, Imran Khan has been in arbitrary detention for 392 days. Speaking informally with representatives of the media after his jail trial in a makeshift courtroom in Adiala on Friday, Mr. Khan said that PTI being the only party in the country that is present in all four provinces can unite the people. He added that political parties can unite the nation, not the military. Imran Khan told reporters that the people in charge of running the country at present do not care about Pakistan. Imran Khan's sister Alima Khan has raised concerns about unusual activities and heightened restrictions in and around Adiala Jail, Rawalpindi's maximum security prison, where her brother, Pakistan's legitimate prime minister, is being held in solitary confinement under unlawful incarceration. The facility is effectively under the control of two senior officials of Pakistan's premier intelligence agency, the ISI. Activists from the Human Rights Commission of Pakistan and representatives of civil society organizations marched in Karachi on Friday to mark the International Day of the Victims of Enforced Disappearances. Attendees carried banners of loved ones who have been forcibly disappeared or killed. Enforced disappearances have become the norm in Pakistan. What once seemed to be limited to Balochistan has spread to Punjab and across Pakistan as members and supporters of Imran Khan's PTI have been forcefully disappeared and the country's security forces have refused to comply with court orders to ensure safe return of the victims. Brazil's Supreme Court ordered X to shut down immediately on Friday. Anatel, the Brazilian National Telecommunications Agency, has notified more than 20,000 internet operators in Brazil to suspend the social media platform within the next few hours. The decision came after a standoff between a Brazilian Supreme Court judge and Elon Musk intensified on Thursday as the billionaire Starlink company said its assets had been frozen in the country amid a feud over the fate of his social media platform X.